A robot dog just danced on America's Got Talent, and the world collectively raised an eyebrow. But for longtime followers of robotics, Spot's appearance on AGT wasn't just entertainment. It was history in motion. This was a culmination of years of technical innovation, cultural fascination, and gradual integration of robotics into everyday life. Spot, the quadruped robot from Boston Dynamics, is more than a mechanical marvel, it's a symbol of how far robots have come and a sneak preview of where they are going. Before we talk about Spot vs. Unitree Go 2 or dive into the legendary Atlas humanoid, let's take a moment to appreciate everything Spot has already done, on camera, in the field, and behind closed doors. Spot's origin, lightweight, agile, and persistent. Spot made its first public appearance on June 23, 2016. Weighing just 25 kilograms, or about 55 pounds, it was a significant step down in weight compared to Boston Dynamics' earlier, bulkier robots like Big Dog. Spot was designed for agility, modularity, and adaptability. Its inspiration came from nature, particularly dogs and quadrupedal animals, offering a versatile platform for navigating complex environments. But it wasn't just its movement that made Spot stand out. It was the character. The way Spot compensated for obstacles, adjusted its posture, and responded to the environment made it feel alive, eerily so. A now legendary promotional video from 2017 showcased Spot using its mechanical arm to open a door, not just for itself, but for another Spot unit. It was seamless, elegant, and subtly unsettling. Later that month, another video went viral, this time showing Spot being repeatedly interfered with by a human holding a hockey stick. The robot, undeterred, continued trying to open the door. The internet exploded. Reactions ranged from admiration to existential dread. Viewers compared it to the Terminator, the Xenomorph, and every AI-driven sci-fi antagonist you can think of. What they were seeing was persistence. Spot wasn't programmed to give up. From lab project to commercial product. On May 11, 2018, Boston Dynamics CEO Mark Rybert announced at TechCrunch's robotic session that Spot was entering pre-production. It was the company's quietest robot yet, designed to be unobtrusive and operational in human environments. Later that year, Boston Dynamics prepared to manufacture the first 100 units. By September 2019, journalists were informed that Spot wouldn't be available for purchase outright, it would be leased to select business partners instead. This allowed Boston Dynamics to monitor how Spot was being used, refine the software, and avoid potential PR disasters in case someone misused the robot. Despite concerns about militarization and misuse, Spot found legitimate and even surprising use cases. In November 2019, Massachusetts State Police became the first law enforcement agency to deploy Spot for bomb squad operations. It wasn't armed. It was sent into hazardous environments where a human life would otherwise be at risk. In January 2020, Boston Dynamics released Spot's Software Development Kit (SDK) to the public on GitHub, opening the door for programmers and developers to build custom applications. On June 16, 2020, Spot was finally made available for public purchase, for a price of $74,500. Spot in the real world SpaceX, Sucker, and Street Inspections. Once out in the wild, Spot quickly found work. In June 2020, SpaceX deployed a Spot robot, nicknamed Zeus, at its Boca Chico launch site. Zeus helped inspect potentially dangerous areas, including those near cryogenic fuel tanks and explosive hardware. It was the perfect job for a robot, risky, data-driven, and highly precise. In Japan, Spot became a sports fan. During the 2020 baseball season, a team of Spot robots performed as cheerleaders at a Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks game. Backed by SoftBank's Pepper robots, the robot squad danced in unison, cheering for a crowdless stadium during COVID-19 lockdowns. Spot has also been used for inspection tasks on oil platforms, like the SCARV floating production storage and offloading vessel. It's inspected buildings in construction zones, mapped indoor terrain, and even patrolled public infrastructure. In February 2024, 
Drivers on the M5 motorway in England were warned not to panic if they saw a spot robot walking by the roadside. It was being trialed by the National Highways Administration as an alternative to human inspectors in high-risk areas. Spot's performance on America's Got Talent was a striking and surreal moment in pop culture history, where cutting-edge robotics stepped directly into the mainstream spotlight. As the music pulsed through the arena and dancers lined up under the glare of stage lights, Spot emerged with confident, deliberate movements, its mechanical legs gliding across the floor with unnerving fluidity. The audience watched in awe, and maybe a little disbelief, as this four-legged robot didn't just walk or pace, but danced. It bowed, spun, and moved in synchronized harmony with human performers, matching their choreography beat for beat with a precision that no one expected from a machine. This wasn't a scripted demo at a tech conference or a carefully edited promotional video. It was live, unscripted, and judged by a mass audience that typically measures talent in terms of charisma, rhythm, and emotional presence. And somehow, Spot delivered. The judges, initially skeptical, were visibly stunned. Some even leaned forward in disbelief, trying to figure out how what they were seeing was even possible. For a few minutes, the divide between human and machine seemed to vanish, not because Spot pretended to be human, but because its movements, timing, and responsiveness created something undeniably expressive. More importantly, it wasn't just about entertainment. Spot's presence on that stage sent a clear signal, robots are no longer confined to factories, labs, or sci-fi films. They are entering our public spaces, our events, and even our imaginations in new ways. By stepping onto that stage, Spot didn't just perform a dance routine, it redefined the role of robotics in popular culture. It showed us that machines can entertain, evoke emotion, and even win applause, not because they mimic us perfectly, but because they express something entirely new. And in doing so, Spot didn't just steal the show, it made history. Boston Dynamics Atlas, from humanoid hype to real-world possibility. While Spot is busy dancing, inspecting, and helping humanity, Boston Dynamics' most ambitious project is standing quietly in the background, Atlas. Atlas is a humanoid robot built to showcase the future of legged mobility and dynamic manipulation. It can run, jump, flip, and even recover from falls in ways that defy expectations. Recent videos have shown Atlas performing park hour, lifting objects, and navigating obstacle courses with precision. Earlier versions were powered by hydraulics and tethered to bulky support systems. But in 2024, Boston Dynamics revealed a fully electric redesign. The new Atlas is quieter, lighter, and more modular, one step closer to practical deployment in factories and industrial sites. Where Spot represents stability and field deployment, Atlas represents ambition and what's possible at the edge of robotics. It's not commercially available, but its capabilities continue to push the envelope of human-robot interaction. More than a performance. When Spot danced on America's Got Talent, it wasn't just a performance. It was a moment where engineering met emotion, where decades of robotic development culminated in a mainstream cultural event. Behind that performance is a legacy of innovation, from military prototypes to art galleries, from rocket launch pads to roadside inspections. Spot isn't just a robot. It's a case study in evolution, both technical and cultural. And whether you see it as a helpful tool or a cyberpunk harbinger of the future, one thing is certain, robotics isn't coming.